but how can somebody is here now, the teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. He is Hello. shy. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good. good evening. Who's the teacher? Anybody good evening. Hear me? I can hear you, but I can't see you. I can. Hello. Uh, Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Now, now I can hear you. Yeah, now I can hear you. We can hear you. Yeah, teacher. I can hear you now. Yes. Excellent. Finally. So there was an electricity blackout here where I live, and. Um, the people from Inglés Corporativo were helping me with the with the connectivity, but thank God I'm already here. So um, you can hear me, I can hear you, so we're ready to go. Okay. That's great. So uh, nice to meet you guys. Uh, I am going to... Nice to meet you, nice to meet you everybody. Once, once I get a, a good internet connection, I'm going to activate my, my camera so that you can uh, see me as well. Right now, I'm just trying to check the microphone and that we can start the class, okay, with no delays. So, uh, sorry about the inconvenience. It's something that is out of our control, but uh, luckily we fix it. Okay. So, tell me, how are you feeling today? Very excited. Excited. Yeah, yeah. excited. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay. And, okay. I, and I yeah. can't believe the last class finished the last week and we started now. And the last month it started like, uh, I don't know. If it, we have to wait like a 20 days for a start next month. So yeah, really? I'm kind of excited. Yeah. Okay. So this was fast. <laughs> yeah, really fast. And I'm happy. Okay, okay, that's great. So, uh huh. And we were talking about create a group for practice more. That's fine. If you decide to create it, that's perfect. Uh, as long as you keep in touch with the language, that you can communicate with each other and you help each other out because um, as I always say, it's better learn together, right? Uh, learn with others because right. alone, uh, sometimes you even lose the motivation, right? To, to that's do right. it. Yeah, uh, that's right. So it's better when you have other people yeah. with uh, even, helping you out. Right. Even when you teach, you learn more. Is, uh, yes, yes, definitely. That's something that happens. It's like when you go to the gym, right? Uh, if That's you go right. alone, you don't have a lot of motivation. But if you go with your friends or with someone special, then you have more motivation to, to go. Okay, let me see if the camera works. Okay, ah, uh, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of dark right now, but I think that we can survive with this. Um, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you again. <laughs> okay, nice to see you. Uh, let me see if I, no. like, how many people okay. I can see uh, on the camera. Uh, I see Brandy. Hi. Is that your last name, Brandy Crocs Sick? I will give you a dollar if you can pronounce my last name. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And my know, I, Somebody I will probably know. go with uh, Crawl Sick. I will go with Crawl Sick. Yeah, but really I'm not good. sure. Okay, yeah, you know, yeah, crawl like a bird, crawl, crawl and mm -hmm. like a check. Crawl, crawl check. check. Yeah, that's right. Crawl check. Exactly. Okay, that seems to be from I don't know from Ukraine or something like that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe well, it's not Salvadoran. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. uh, so let me see, Edma, Asalia. Hello. Uh, then I see Jose Luis Castro in the camera too. Evelyn Janet, Melvin Gerardo, uh, 
Very good. Jenny Carolina, Edwin Alexander. Hi, coach. Hello, hello. Nelson Adan. The quiet guy. Okay. Uh, let me know if your microphone works. Okay, so that uh, that I can check. You can say hello, just good evening. Hello. Uh, yes. Normally. Yes, Jenny, I can hear you. Teacher. Melvin. Good evening. Yes, I, I, I can hear you now. Good evening. Thank you. Norma Elizabeth. Hello, good evening. Good evening, nice. Uh, Jancy Montes. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Nubia Morales. Good evening, can you teacher. Hear me? Yes, okay, perfect. I see that we have Nelson Adan. Present teacher. Okay, and then uh, Susana Isabel. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to meet you. Then Jorge Alberto. I see that you're in the room. <laughs> it's a little dark in there. That's fine. Uh, Oscar Alexander Santana. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Victoria Miron. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, Silvia Melara. Good evening, teacher. Giselle Hernandez. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. And last but not least, we have, uh, let me check. Just them right now, uh, we are 18. Okay, perfect. So we're going to get started. Um, so you were together on the last level, on the last module? Yes or no? The majority of you were together in the level, well, in the pre-intermediate module two? Mm -hmm. Some of three. you? Yes. Three. 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 Sure. This is number three. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. So in the last one, you were together as yeah. a group? Module two. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, in the module two. Excellent. Okay, perfect. So uh, let me just introduce myself a little bit uh, with some general information about, about this course that we're going to be having um, and about myself as well. So let me know if you can see my screen. Please. Yes, no. No. No, no. be sure. Oh, right now, yes. Yes. Right right. Now. yes. Okay, perfect. So, um, well, basically just like my, wait a second. Some general information. Uh, of course I know, I know Spanish. Okay, it's not just English. Uh, <laughs> So we, we don't have problems with communicating here. Uh, however, you know that to, to improve more or to get better in the language, it is necessary that we expose ourselves to English. So that's one of the most important objectives for, uh, for me, right? And for you, I hope that you are also uh, adapted, right? To listening to people speaking English uh, so that it's better for you to, just to use your, your knowledge. Uh, your knowledge. Uh, sorry, sorry, you was froze. What? We couldn't hear nothing. You didn't share nothing. Okay, now? Ah, uh, yeah. Now, yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Perfect. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a connection, it's a connectivity. So uh, as I was telling you, right, my name is Freddy Marquez Sosa. That's my, my second last name. Um, I, have, I have been an English teacher for more than 14 years. Uh, um, I have worked in <laughs> academies, universities, the MINED, uh, different programs. Uh, I have trained teachers. I have prepared students with international certifications like TOEIC and TOEFL. And um, I have studied not only English, but also teaching, uh, translation, interpretation. TESOL, that is a special certification to teach English to people who speak other languages. So um, that is an extra 
uh, ability that we develop as teachers. Uh, then ESP, that is technical English, right? Specific English for tourism, for call centers, for different purposes. And the level of English is advanced. Um, so that uh, it's a little bit of uh, information that I can share about myself. Okay, if you have any other questions, you can ask. Uh, and I'm going like Brandy did, right? I'm going to give you, uh, let's see, a tricky question, okay? Let's see who can guess where I am from. Of course, I'm from El Salvador, but where in El Salvador do you think I am from? In which department of El Salvador do you think I live? It's hot. Have three, it's opportunities. Cold. Have three opportunities. It's hot, it's cold. You have a lake hot. near to you. You have a mountain it near is, to you. It's hot. It is hot. Where I live is hot. <laughs> Sulutan? Nope. Near San Miguel? Okay, you said Sonsonate. That was the second chance. And the last chance was San Miguel. So, yes, correct. I'm from San Miguel. Um, so, You're yes. You're by the people in San Miguel. <laughs> huh? Okay, teacher. I am San Miguel. Really? I don't That's look like people reason. in San Miguel. I understand. Yeah, in fact, I am working right now. Okay, interesting. That's the reason nice. that you don't have internet. You are so far that we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. That that might be a reason. That might be a reason. Um, well, there are different there are different uh, factors. It's raining a lot right now. It stopped raining, but it was raining a lot here. Uh, but anyways, that's uh, a little bit about me. Okay. Later, we're going to have more opportunities to talk, to ask questions. Okay, to interact. And um, let's move on. Actually, I love the, the unit that we are going to study, the first unit that we're going to study because it's about traveling. So I love traveling. That's one of my favorite hobbies. Um, but well, here we have a little uh, information. We have some information about homework and evaluations. Okay. Uh, let me see, Brandy, can you please read the first two lines? But it's in Spanish, I don't understand. Es necesario. Try, try. <laughs> <laughs> es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Yes, you are you have good good in Spanish, good Spanish. Okay, let's Last continue with the next volunteer. Uh, Edma, Azalea, please, the second part. Okay, teacher. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se comienzan a trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Puede adelantar contenido. A mí me gusta adelantar porque si no. Okay, yes. Son me estudiantes too. avanzados. Okay, excelente. We have to finish uh, in a week or two weeks. Yeah, it's better, right? You have more time to relax. Evelyn, Janet, can you please read the number three? Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese es un registro, es invi... No se logra ver. ¿Enviado? Enviado a Insafor semanalmente. Okay, that's something important, right? Every Friday is the limit, the midnight, and that's it, right? Como la cenicienta. Ya ahí pierde el hechizo. Okay, uh, let's continue with the next one, like Cinderella, right? Cinderella, that's the story. Nelson, can you please help us out with the last information? Okay, in Spanish, teacher? Yep, sure. Or in English, if you want. <laughs> Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Okay, so in the group, uh, through WhatsApp, right, we're going to be uh, interacting. Uh, if you need information about a specific topic, uh, you just write in the chat, hey teacher, can you please share some 
links, right, to practice, uh, let's say, uh, listening or to practice uh, the present continuous, etc. Right. Uh, so that is the, the the extra material that I'm going to be sharing with you. Okay. But if you have, okay, Nelson, you have a question. Okay, teacher. Sorry, I have a short commentary, teacher. Ah, uh, what is the comment? Okay. It's solamente que. Por lo menos a mí me gustaría que en esta clase, en este tiempo que vamos a estar acá, teacher, si usted y los demás compañeros que estamos acá presentes nos podemos, como siempre hemos hecho, apoyarnos, pero quizás ahora que sea como una forma diferente, porque el teacher pasado yo le escribí al privado, le escribí, les comenté aquí también en las clases, pero cada vez que se le pedía ayuda, él lo que hacía era darme, el, darme las respuestas de mi tarea. Y eso mm. como, no, mm -hmm. no me servía, okay. a mí no me servía. Sí. Yeah, got it. Gracias. Gracias. Perfect. Okay, that's a good comment. So, yes, I'm going to give you the information that you need to complete your, your assignment, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, that, that's a good comment, a good suggestion. Thank you. Um, about homework and evaluation, we have four weeks. You know that it's one month. We have classes from... Monday through Thursday, one hour from eight to nine. Okay, uh, Melvin, can you please read the week one and week two? Sorry, which one? Semana uno y semana dos. Sección uno y sección dos. Ajá, en la semana uno vamos a cubrir sección uno y la sección dos. Sección dos, okay. okay. En semana 2, sección 3, eh, eh, midterm. Mid mid semana 3. Mid sería como el parcial, el examen eh, de medio, ¿verdad? Ajá. Ok. Semana 3, sección 4. Y la semana 4, sección 5 y final exam. Ok. So, those who already have experience, you know the format, right? Para aquellos que hayan un tiempito en curso, ya saben cómo es el formato, así que esto solo es por si acaso hay alguna duda. Okay. Um, now, the, the rules, let's say, or the norms that we're going to follow uh, during the class, uh, you're going to keep the microphone off, right? Uh, the attendance has to be constant, okay, to classes. So you have to come to class every day, uh, unless, right, there is an emergency that is understandable, but you need to be constant. Uh, you need to have your full name, right? Your full name uh, with the camera on, active participation, that is important. And uh, the last two, Nubia, can you please read the last three, sorry? Nombre completo. Ah, sorry. Uso de chat. Uh -huh. eh, levantar la mano. Siempre mantener el respeto. Eso es muy importante. Ok. Um, so, it's just to keep the class flowing, right? Going in a good way with no interruptions. Uh, of course, you can ask any question during the class, but Remember to raise your hand. Puede ser la mano digital, de preferencia, porque a veces la mano propia no se ve, en la cámara no, no la podemos detectar porque no estamos viendo a todas las cámaras al mismo tiempo, pero la mano digital sí aparece en una notificación. Uh, so, si viene que está levantando la mano y el teacher, que soy yo, no responde, eh, probablemente no ha visto, no se ha percatado, ahí sí puede activar el micrófono con teacher, I have a question, ¿ok? Y ahí sí, hacen la pregunta. But for me, one of my personal, uh, it's not in the, in, the, in the rules here, in the, in the norms, but for me, something that is very important is that everybody, all the students participate in class. For me, that is extremely important, okay? My objective is that everybody understands, that everybody learns, and everybody participates, okay? Es una regla personal mía, okay? Bueno, dos reglas en sí. Pregunten todo lo que tengan que preguntar y no tengan pena y uh, que participen todos. Okay? 
Um, so that is something important for me. Oscar, question or comment? Uh, good night. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good uh, evening, Oscar. Sí, solo comentar, la verdad, como igual lo he comentado con los demás docentes. Eh, en mi caso, aquí en la zona donde estoy, este, yo debo decidir entre estar, digamos, viéndola a ustedes con el audio, porque si pongo mi cámara, este, se, como dicen, se traba, ¿verdad? La señal, entonces, este, a veces por eso no la enciendo. Se lo digo okay, en la primera. Okay. okay. Perfect. So it's important that you that you clarify this this situation, right? I, there are things that we can control, so it's a, a little bit complicated. Now, thank, uh, you. thank you, Oscar. We continue with the next uh, part. Uh, Jorge Alberto, can you please help us read this part? Okay, asistencia 80% de las clases. Mm -hmm. uh, avance y desarrollo de plataforma de aprendizaje. Inicio de clases este día, horario uh -huh. establecido, tener cámara encendida, duración de 60 minutos, trabajar en ejercicio en plataforma, plataforma, clase. Y pues, sí. obviamente obtiene su diploma, ¿verdad? Se cumple con esas indicaciones. Eh, so that is just reminders. Things that you already know, just for you to remember, right? A little bit. And now we're going to go to a group activity. What are we going to do? As we are going to start talking about traveling, right? We're going to be talking about traveling. What I'm going to share with you is a link. And in small groups, in small groups, you are going to be discussing uh, some questions, okay? You're going to be discussing some questions about traveling. Uh, let me just, give you the link, I will share the link through the chat, okay? You open the link and um, in the breakout rooms, in the breakout rooms, you are going to ask and answer different questions, the questions that you like, okay, about traveling. Um, so the link is in the chat right now. You can click on the link to open it, to access. There are around, what, uh, 40 or 50 questions probably <laughs> about um, traveling, right? About traveling. So you have a lot of different questions to ask and practice speaking. And um, you will do it in the breakout rooms. So how much time are you going to have for this activity? You are going to have five minutes maximum, okay? Um, to practice asking and answering questions. For example, the, the first question that you see in the list is, have you ever been abroad? Have you ever been abroad? If you have doubts and I am in the breakout room, you ask me the question, right? If not, you ask one of your classmates. And if your classmate doesn't know the answer, like what is abroad, uh, you can, use a dictionary, right? You can investigate the meaning of that. So have you ever been abroad? Is like, if you have ever been to another country, okay, uh, in your life. For example, if you ask me the question, teacher, have you ever been abroad? And I, I will tell you, yes, I have been abroad uh, sometimes. And later, if you want to ask more questions, like follow up questions, pregunta de, de seguimiento, right? Okay, teacher, what? Countries have you visited? Okay, uh, so I can tell, oh, I have visited uh, Guatemala, Costa Rica, uh, the US, Honduras, and Peru. So I have five, okay? Uh, just like that, right? So if you want to ask more questions about traveling, no problem. Um, so is that is the indication clear? It's clear. It's clear like coffee or clear like water? It's clear, teacher. Like clear. In the in the Lampa River. <laughs> After rain. <laughs> okay, excellent. So uh wait a second. 
Mm, I'm I'm taking a look at this right now. Wait a second. I'm going to stop sharing. If there is an issue with the, uh, I don't see the the option of the breaker room. So maybe there is an issue here. So that will go with the plan B. And the plan B is that I'm going to be asking different questions to different volunteers. So uh, let's start with Jancy. Okay, you have a question, Brandy? No, I'm ready for your question. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, so I will start with, with uh, Jancy. Uh, have you ever visited uh, another country apart from El Salvador? No. 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 But is there, is there one country that you would like to visit? That you are interested in visiting? Uh, yes. Uh, Which one? Colombia. Colombia? Colombia. Okay, yeah, that's a that's a nice destination. Thank you so much. Why? Why Colombia? Because of coffee, because of cumbia. The food. The food. Okay, the food. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay. And uh support. That's another thing that we need in the class, right? So when people participate, you give claps, right? Some virtual claps or reactions. Uh, there are a lot of reactions, right, that you can use. So in the class, uh, everybody's together. So we support each other. Next volunteer, let's go with Susana Isabel. Susana, are you there? Later, when I finish asking the questions, you can ask me the questions, right? You can ask me any question that you have from the list or you can ask another classmate also. The idea is that we participate and um, practice. Uh, okay, it seems like Susanna is not able to listen to me right now. So I continue with Giselle. Giselle, can you hear me? Hi, teacher. Yes, okay. So the question for you is, uh, what is your favorite tourist destination in El Salvador? Um, the Oriente. Okay, specific place. I, I didn't hear you, but Okay, the rest, please write in the chat. What is your favorite uh, destination in El Salvador? Your favorite tourist destination in El Salvador? I want to read all your answers. Okay, let's continue. Next question for speaking. Brandy. Uh, um, do you like traveling alone or you prefer to travel with other people? I would like to travel with other people, but right now I travel, but I go out alone, not travel right, right now. Okay. When I was a biker, yes, I travel with all the group. We roll. Ah, nice. Okay, so please everybody write in the chat, what is your favorite tourist destination in El Salvador? We already have two answers. Nelson says that all the Eastern beaches here uh, Cuco, Las Tunas, etc. Right, and Oscar says that is La Pita is located in Tecoluca. Okay, take notes. Right, possible destinations that you want that you would like to visit. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's continue with the next volunteer. Norma, can you hear me? Yes, I forgot the volcano on Hello. Santa Ana. Hello. <laughs> okay, Norma. The question for you is, um, uh, could you live, do you think that you could live in another country for the rest of your life?
could you live in another country for the rest of your life? Okay, Nelson and Oscar already answered the question in the chat. What is your favorite tourist destination in El Salvador? Okay, Jorge says that Re is the Oriente repeat. Beaches as well. Okay. Sorry, sorry, teacher, repeat. The question for, uh, for her was like, uh, if you, she could live in another place, in another country for the rest of her life. Si podría vivir en otro país por el resto de su vida. I don't know. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, yes, I know. Yes? Yes. Okay. In which country? I, I don't, I don't not understand this year. In which country? Okay. In cual país? <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Okay, Pura Vida. Nice. Uh, Melvin, question for you. Uh, what is... Uh, a vacation travel that you remember? A special vacation travel that you remember? I don't remember in specific, but I, I just remember uh, one day I was, I was, sorry, I were to Guatemala. To the, you went to Guatemala? Uh -huh. Yes, uh, to the so, so, Zoological Aurora. Yes. Ah, to the zoo. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, to the yeah, zoo, sorry. Yes, the zoo. The zoo. Uh -huh. yes uh, it's very, very beautiful. Uh, okay. To know uh, the new animals that uh, we can see in this country. Yes, uh, excellent. It was, yes, it was beautiful. That's that's trip. Nice. Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, Yancy says El Pital. Oscar says that he will never go to another country. That he loves El Salvador, but he loves to travel too. Uh, Jenny says that her favorite destination is El Espino Beach in Usulután. Okay, and Evelyn has a question for me. What is my favorite country? Well, apart from El Salvador, I would say that I loved uh, Peru. That was a beautiful, that was a beautiful uh, country to visit. Okay, um, now let's continue with Edwin. Edwin, can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Yes, coach, but I have very problem with my internet connection, but I try to answer your question. Okay, okay. Um, so the question for you is, uh, what, well, when you travel, you use languages, right? You travel to other countries. So what language would you like to learn? What language or which language would you like to learn, Edwin? I would like to, Yes. Uh, okay. Um, I would like to learn Italy language. Italian. Yes, Italian language. Because okay. it's because one of my dream is visited to Italy, Italy with my family, and I I would like to learn Italy. Italian. Okay. Perfect. It's a good idea. Italian is a good language. It's not so difficult. They say that. Uh, Leslie, can you listen to me? Can you hear me? Sorry. Hi. Yes, Hello. teacher. Yes. Okay. Hello. Uh, do you have any plans for the next vacations? Yeah, maybe uh, travel, travel and other um, country. Um, okay. Or maybe uh, I. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say deseo? I wish. I uh -huh. wish. Okay. I will. I, I wish, wish visit to, a new place. Um, to visit maybe, a new place. Yeah. Uh huh. Maybe. Maybe. Um, how do you say conocer? <laughs> No. You know, to discover, uh-huh. Okay, uh, to discover. Yeah, you can say that too, uh-huh. 
I, I wish uh, to discover a new place. A new place. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, Giselle has a question. Oh. Do you prefer to travel by train, bus, plane, or ship? I prefer to travel by... I would say by... If the pen. By car. <laughs> by car because uh, you can stop in any place and you can enjoy the view but sometimes by plane is a great experience too right because you see the the clouds and everything um if you are on the window seat <laughs> um then we continue <laughs> and it's during the day but at night it's complicated uh, okay edwin you have a question yes uh i have a question for you uh, how okay. many countries have you visited and which is your favorite? I have visited, oh, what am I, Costa Rica, Rica, US, US, Peru. I think I have visited just five, ah, hundred, six countries. And from the six countries, my favorite is Peru. Peru. Yeah, Peru, because my dream was to, to, to know and to visit Machu Picchu. So uh, some years ago, I had the possibility to do it, so. Yes, that's my favorite place. Uh, Jose Luis, question. It's only midi. Uh, this class no don't ha, don't watch anything topic. No, no, no. Yes, we had a topic for speaking. Uh, for traveling, sorry. And oh, okay. um, the last question. You have a question, Jose? Well? No, Jose Luis, sorry. no, no, no. No. Okay. Uh, favorite hobby. Have, Traveling and taking pictures, I would say that. Okay, excellent. So I think that almost everybody answered one question. Uh, Nubia, you're next. Uh, Nubia, what do you prefer, the beach or the mountain? Uh, I like uh, the beach. Okay, why? Hmm. Ah, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, me encanta escuchar el mar. You like to hear the sea. You can say I love to hear the sea or listen to the sea, right? Listen to the ocean. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Eh, okay, who's missing? ¿Quién hace falta de responder, de practicar speaking? Uh, a buddy? <laughs> Okay, uh, when you're missing, okay, cuando se hagan falta de algo, uh, you can say it like on the microphone or you can um, write it in the chat, right? You write in the chat, like for example, I'm I'm missing. Okay, it's hago falta yo, I'm missing, that's right. Uh, so do you prefer summer vacation or winter vacation? I prefer winter vacation. Uh, because the weather is nicer mm -hmm. and sports bikes yes I like bicycles in the present I don't do that too much but in the past I used to cycle a little bit yeah um, now on this uh, module we're going to be starting the five sections right the section number one okay uh, first of all congratulations because your answers were really nice and um, it's a very exciting place. As you can see, it's about traveling. Section two, it really works. Section three, may I take your order? Section four, the biggest and the best. And the last one, I'm going to a soccer match. Those are the five sections that we're going to study on this module. Okay, what's the first one? It's a very exciting place. What are we going to study here? We're going to study some adjectives adjectives are the words that we use to describe to describe things for example if i tell you pupusas what is the characteristic of pupusas if you think about one description for pupusas they are they are delicious delicious, delicious. <laughs> they are delicious right if i tell you about if i mention el pital what is the first idea that comes to your mind? El Pital is? It's a cold. It's, 
cold. It's a cold. It's cold. It's right? cold. It's cold. It's cold. Yeah. If I tell you San Miguel, what, it's what country? Very hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's warm. Hot. Hot. It's warm. Yes. Um, if I tell you, for example, the iPhone, the new iPhone. It's expensive. 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 expensive, right? Expensive. Bad, right? Expensive. expensive. If I tell you, um, un chori, one chori. Delicious. 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 With onion, yeah. please. Ah, yeah. Okay. Com yeah. Compared to the iPhone, compared to the iPhone, oh. the chori is. Uh, is uh, barato, right? It's cheap. 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 Okay. Um, now, uh, so those are adjectives, okay? Um, if I tell you, for example, uh, Shrek, the movie, Shrek, what is your first idea about Shrek? It is? Funny. Funny, mm -hmm. it is funny. Funny, right? funny. funny. It's funny. funny. Correct. Correct. Is what? It's entertaining, right? So adjectives. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're going to do is to match, to match, listen, the opposites, okay? From the column A and the column B. For example, uh, if you see the pictures, there are two pictures. Picture mm -hmm. one is beautiful. Picture mm -hmm. two mm -mm, is ugly. It's not ugly. beautiful. Ugly. So it's the opposite, right? So. The opposite of beautiful is ugly. 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 Okay. What what is the opposite of cheap? Expensive. 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 Barato and caro, right? Correct. Mm -hmm. What about number three? Clean. Dirty. 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 But we don't have dairy in the list. No tenemos dairy in the list. Polluted. 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 Correct. Polluted is contaminated, right? Polluted, contaminated. Okay. Uh, then uh, we have number four, interesting. Boring. 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 Ah, it's boring. not. It's boring, boring. right? Boring. Boring. Mathem boring. For me, boring. mathematics, mathematics was boring in school. <laughs> but Thank English you. was interesting. Now, <laughs> uh, number five, quiet. Quiet. Um, noisy. Noisy. Noisy, right? Noisy. Quiet, noisy. Noisy. For example, right now in my house, is, everything is very quiet. Okay? But with my dog and my cats, no, it's not quiet. It's noisy. <laughs> now, let's continue with number six. Relaxing. Relaxing. It's very stressful. Stressful. Okay. What is relaxing for you? What is relaxing for you? What is something that relaxes you? When you go to the beach, you know, play on the, on the sand. On a video game. You see your you go to the gym. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, don't forget, raise your hand, okay? I went to the sleep. Okay. Sleeping is relaxing. Brandy? Uh, relaxing for me is when you go to the beach, you lay on this on the on the sand? On the sand and you okay. under the sun and you just hear yeah. the water. Because if it's you relaxing. go if you go and try to see the water will hit you. So it's not relaxing. Yes, if you want to relax. <laughs> yeah, you better go in the morning or Hi. at night, right? <laughs> okay, Leslie. Sorry. Maybe listen to to music, sleep. Listen to music, but not uh, rock yeah. music, right? Yeah. <laughs> no. Listen to music. instrumental music, classical music, <laughs> romantic music. Okay, got it. Uh, another volunteer. Let me see. Another volunteer. Edwin, what is relaxing for you? In my case, I'm relaxing and play video games and play 
soccer with my friends and okay I yeah exercising right doing exercises yeah. sometimes is is relaxing and it's stressful what is a stressful for you evelyn mm. uh Anuia? the stressful is uh, and Jenny, uh -huh. uh, the stressful uh, the um, math the stressful in the job uh, your sometimes, job okay Sometimes. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. So. Yes, mm -hmm. got it. Nubia, what is stressful for you? Um, leer, read. Reading. Reading. <laughs> okay. For me, mm -hmm. my sister is stressful. <laughs> okay. <laughs> But it's a secret, but it's a secret. Okay, let's continue with uh, Jenny. What is stressful for you? What is something stressful for you? Uh, the, the noise. The noise. Uh, loud noises. Loud noises. Mm -hmm. What kind loud of? Noises. Like perreo, mm -hmm. right? On the bus. <laughs> Yes. When you go to downtown, in my job, in my Traffic. Traffic. That's stressful. Yes. Traffic is stressful. Okay, yes. number seven, safe. What is the opposite Danger. of safe? Danger. Danger. Dangerous. 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 Correct. And the last one, spacious. No. Oh, well. oh. I can't. Crowded. Okay. Crowded. When you don't know the pronunciation, cuando no saben la pronunciación o tienen dudas, pregunta, ¿verdad? Teacher, how do you pronounce? Please. How do you pronounce? How do you pronounce a uh, crowded? How do you pronounce crowded? The pronunciation is crowded. 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 Like when you go to the to the Cuscatlan, right? When Alianza versus Aguila is crowded, it's full of people. It's crazy. Now, Leslie, you have a question. Teacher, what is the mini crowded? Crowded is uh, full. It's full of people or full of things. And safe? Uh, hmm? What is the meaning safe? Safe is uh, seguro. Okay. Thank Something you. Something that you feel, pro you feel protected is safe. Mm -hmm. Safe. Yes. Uh, okay. Somebody so raise the hand. Somebody raise a hand. Who, who, who? Let me check. I don't see any hands up. Okay, let's continue. Next one is uh, some extra, extra adjectives. For example, what is the opposite of tall? Short. 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 Tall and short. Correct. So we have tall here. Tall. And the opposite is? Sure. Okay, what is the opposite? For example, I'm going to say the adjective um, long fast. fast. What is the opposite of fast? Slow. 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 Correct. Yeah, slow. So slow. if you see, those are adjectives. Okay, uh, and the opposites, right? The opposites. So they have a, a different and um, opposing idea. Now, let's continue, okay? Uh, no more questions about this, everything's clear. And um, I move on to the next slide. Wait a second, here. Okay, pronunciation, listen and repeat. Beautiful. 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 Clean. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Quiet. 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 Relaxing. Relaxing. Safe. Safe. Spacious. 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 
Boring. 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 Crowded. Crowded. Very good. Dangerous. 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 Expensive. Expensive. Noisy. 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 Polluted. Polluted. And ugly. Ugly. Okay. Now we're going to have a conversation practice. Okay. So for this, we are going to uh, pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation, right? Intonation in questions. Okay. In questions specifically. So listen um, and repeat. So, what are you from, Carmen? Oh, where oh, are you from, Carmen? Where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, okay. You can say Puerto Rico, right? That's a Latino. Um, wow, I've heard that's a really nice city. Wow. Oh, I really nice city. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. The weather is great. The weather is great. Very great. great. And there are some fantastic beaches. And there are some fantastic beaches. Fantastic beaches just outside the city. Just outside the city. Is it expensive there? No, it's not very expensive. No, it's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are reasonable. 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 Uh -huh. Prices are pretty reasonable. How big is the city? How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. It's a fairly big city. But it's not too big. But it's not too big. Okay, correct. Uh, it sounds perfect to me. Is Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. Maybe yes. I should yes. plan a trip there sometime. Okay, maybe I should, right? Should. Maybe That's the way that we say. Should. Should. No pronunciamos la letra L, so decimos should. should. I should plan a trip sure. there sometime. Maybe I should, no. I should plan a trip there sometime. Sure. sometime. Correct. What is the meaning of should? What is the meaning of should? Should is for recommendations. It's for recommendations De or suggestions. Debería. Mm -hmm. Debería. Mm -hmm. You say debería. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for example, t t you tell me, teacher, um, I I feel I feel sick. Okay, you should go to the doctor or you should go to the hospital or you should take some medicine right uh, you should rest uh-huh uh, okay so oh, now we're going to practice the conversation uh, in this case i need two volunteers okay for the conversation two volunteers me One. teacher please raise your hand me teacher okay edma and yes i have a question and Leslie, okay. Who has a question, Brad, Brandy? Me, it's nine o'clock. Yeah, we finish after this conversation. Okay. okay. Yes. Sure. Edma, uh, you are Eric, and Leslie, okay. you are Carmen. Okay. Okay, okay. so, so where are, are you from, Carmen? I am from some, San Juan, Puerto Rico. Oh, I, I'll be wow. hard. Wow, I have heard that a really nice city. Yeah, it is. Yeah. The weather is great, and there are same. 
And, and there are some fantastic visuals just outside fishes. the city. It is expensive there? No, it is not very expensive. Prince, I, I can Prince are pretty. I, princes are pretty Prices are pretty reasonable. Prices are pretty reasonable. <laughs> yeah. How big is the city? How big in the city? It's a fairly big city, but it is not too big. It's um perfect to me. Maybe I should play a tree there sometime. Excellent. Okay, class for them. Great job. So uh, we're going to finish here. Uh, thank you so much for the participation. We're going to finish the class here. Uh, so obviously we had some technical issues because of things that we sure. can't control, like, like the Sorry. weather. Hello, Oscar. Uh, are you taking uh, the attendance? Uh, no, I'm not taking the attendance, okay? I was checking at the beginning, so that is the the reason why I was checking the names, okay, for that. And uh, something important is that today was just for introducing uh, the, the curse for familiarizing with each other, right? That I know a little bit about you, you know a little bit about me, and that we have the opportunity to practice a little bit of English. So tomorrow we're going to continue with the content. And uh, remember that this is uh, your class, right? This is your class. So when you have questions, when you have recommendations, when you have some ideas, you can say it, okay? You can say it. I am here to, to listen to you and to help you, okay? That is the most important. So uh, if you don't have any other questions for today, uh, we continue communicating through the WhatsApp group, right? Remember that uh, we're going to continue uh, keeping in touch, right? Check the platform, do the exercises and study, right? My recommendation is that you study. Practice what we see in the class and check what is next. Practiquen lo que vemos en la clase y pueden dar una, una ojeadita, como decimos en salvadoreño, a lo que viene en la siguiente clase, ¿verdad? Para que así más o menos ya tengan una idea de qué vamos a estudiar o practicar. Eso es un consejo que les podría dar, ¿verdad? Um, that's what I did. Eso es lo que yo hacía cuando era estudiante. So, eh, have a great night, guys. Eh, have a nice week sí, sí. as well. I hope to see you tomorrow, okay, with a new class. Eh, and... Hopefully everything's going to be okay tomorrow. So we don't have inconveniences at the beginning of the session. Okay, so it was nice to meet you guys. You. Take good care night, of yourself. Teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night, class. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Right, almost everybody's gone. Okay, take care, guys. It was a pleasure. Thank you, thank you, Jorge. Take care of yourself.